Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd. This is a Dremel, Dremel 3D Idea Builder. And it's been one of the most requested videos for me to do to upgrade the nozzle on this thing to a plated nozzle so we can print some exotic materials on it. I don't know, I think it's time. Let's do it. You ready? Go. Now, oh, welcome back. Uh, I've got a GoPro in here. Hi, GoPro. And I've got you right there. What you need is a nozzle, and you need a 9 millimeter socket. But if you look here, there's a socket missing, and it's 9 millimeters. And um, I don't know where it is. <laughs> Dang it. So, this is 9 millimeters, and I'm going to use this. There we go. The nozzle's right here, and this fits over it nicely. The heater block is right above the nozzle, right there. So the idea is to heat it up, hold on to the heater block, and then undo the nozzle. Be careful, everything's hot, obviously. When you're done with that, put the new nozzle on, tighten it up, and then Bob's your uncle. There we go. That should be easy. Okay, first, first things first, let's heat this baby up. This is the exciting part. No, no, no! Oh, Where are you going? Get back. Ah, okay, tools. Uh, preheat. The extruder, start. It doesn't seem to be too mad if I move this while it's preheating. All right, once this gets to 220 degrees centigrade, we will go ahead and start it. I've already removed the build plate. It's right here and this, I actually, I've had some really good luck on the Dremel using build tech on top of the acrylic. It's worked really well. So if you get the chance, try it out if you're having problems. It's not all the way at 220, it's at 184, 85. That's actually decent. All right, I've got channel locks to hold on to the heater block, and then I've got my nine millimeter wrench here to take it off. All right, let's, I'm gonna grip it right here like this. You don't wanna damage any of the components sticking into the heater block. And I'm gonna put that there, and then it's surprising how easy that comes off. Now that it's loose, I can take the channel locks I'm not gonna do that because, well, that would just, <laughs> that would hurt a lot. It's hot. It'd be better if I had a socket, but I don't have any nine millimeter sockets. Yeah, I suppose I should find it. Here's the best part, this nozzle is 200 and, well, 12 degrees right now, meaning a 212 degree nozzle will drop onto the plastic of the Dremel 3D Idea Builder, probably melting it a little bit. Unless I can catch it with these channel locks. I suppose I could wear gloves, but probably can't find those either. There we go. This is out. This is the nozzle, and this is the PTFE tube. It comes out and look at there's a bunch of filament in there and that's okay. Uh, it's hot. It's really hot. The nozzle's even hotter. Here's what I'm gonna do. I've got my sockets here and they're metal. So I can put the nozzle on the metal and let it cool down just fine. Now we take the plated nozzle out of the package. It is a micro Swiss. I don't know if you can read that. That light's pretty bright, but it is a micro Swiss genuine nozzle picked up from protopasta.com. Love those guys. PTFE tube is going to go in like that. And then we'll see if we can get it in and started. Sometimes it works. Just have to be careful because everything is, again, really freaking hot in there. Oops. All right. Let's 
Let's get it up in there. Oh, usually it slides right up. I don't know what I'm missing. Okay, I ran into a snag and this wouldn't go up there and here's what I forgot to do. Forgot to remove the stupid filament from the, it's been a long day. Don't judge me. But anyway, I got the filament out in the tube. Well, it'll go up just fine. It goes right up. <laughs> All right. Okay. We can get it most of the way, but then we do need to grab the heater block just to make sure we don't twist it. All right, it's snug. I'll use my channel locks. Here we go, and then I can tighten. That's it. That's really it. That's all you have to do. As long as you uh, don't have a long day and as long as you don't forget to remove the filament, you should be just fine. Well, let's get some filament in this thing and start printing. I've got some protopasta carbon fiber PLA loaded in and carbon fiber is notorious for destroying standard brass nozzles. The micro Swiss plated nozzle from protopasta should do the trick. Let's, let's build something, shall we? I don't even remember what I have on this. It looks like it's printing. Sometimes when you replace a nozzle, you do need to relevel the bed, but this went pretty simple. Uh, okay, there are some <laughs> there are some spots that look like they're not doing well, but filament is flowing, and I am very happy that this went fairly easy. Well, hopefully this wasn't too bad. Hopefully you learned something. It's really easy. I'll put a link to the nozzle down in the description. It's like 15 bucks at Protopost. It's just super deal. All right, I'm gonna level the build plate here in a bit, but for now, I think we're good. Hey, like this video if this was helpful. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you get notified when more content like this is uploaded. Um, gosh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, high five. Is Joel telling and he's printing 3D like some Pokemon a gun from Destiny and when you call him a nerd he'll stand up proudly cause he's packing some heat from his YouTube family he can review printers till he falls to the floor then he'll give them away like Oprah in 04 there's the Wombat, Volsbot, GMAX XT then a break for Red Bull and Lobo's Taco Crispy printed koozie in his hand for his drink he sets up his GoPro and prints out a bender bang so send him a dollar to put in his head or a self-addressed Envelope for a sticker instead. There's a nerd box on boxes and Q's and A's, and he'll open your mail every single Friday. And of course, you can't forget that pancake bot and filaments on a cleese and Joel's cute little sign. And they printed this printer at Holodex Studio, like Lando Calrissian, who's tried Han Solo. So show your support on Patreon or subscribe, and as always, high five.